did. Yeah. Is yeah. it close to? Yes, yes, yes. That's on Tari. That's pretty cool. On Tari. On Tari, yeah. Huh. Okay, so here we go. So guys, this We're is stargazing. On Saturn right now. On Saturn, which okay. Which is right here, this one. And this is Jupiter, that'll be our next one. Would you oh. like this to there like in 10 minutes? Your life? Oh, 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 yeah, right, you never know. I, I guess so, right? Yeah, Boom, it's gonna go. Right, right. We gotta get the right in. So again, Saturn's got the nice rings made of debris swirling around, a lot of ice reflecting the sunlight. And all the little dots were the moon. And you can put over 700 Earths inside Saturn. Wow. But, it, but it's not solid like this, right? Right, it's a gaseous giant. The moons are solid, but the planet itself is gaseous. Right, like Enceladus or Saturn's got an ocean under ice. Yeah, so you don't know, right? If it's liquid, it could have some life in there. But, but you don't think it would be light on Saturn itself because it's gas, right? Right, right. Maybe the moon is That's that's right. Exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. So it's going to be your turn next. They saw Saturn right Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, super cool. Thank you. Yeah, well, go right ahead. Uh, thank you. You come over here to tell us to look. So that. Well, yep, I can see Saturn. Very pretty. Wow. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Let's go to Jupiter now. Now, Jupiter's not as far, but it's bigger than Saturn. You could put over a thousand Earths inside Jupiter. Over a thousand Earths could fill it up. And you'll see some stripes. Those are the cloud bands swirling around. And there's three moons, two on the right, one on the left. They're in a straight line. The bright little dots are its moons. They're bigger than what you saw with Saturn because they're closer. That's really, really nice. Try to see the lines on here for the moon. And one of the moons is new on the left. Yes, yeah, it's way over to the side, yeah. These are bigger moons like Europa, Ganymede, Calypso. You see that one? What, what, yeah. What are those? Nine. Those are the clouds that are swirling around. Mm -hmm. Jupiter is 11 Earths wide, but it has a 10 hour day. So the speed is so fast, the clouds are stretched out like oh, crazy. Okay. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, really neat. Then we're going to go to the moon before we go to the stars. Okay, this is something I'm, uh, oh, we're going to look at Jupiter. We're going to look at it later, but this is the death of a star. Oh, you can yeah. see like layers yeah. of it. Like what do you call the death of a star? The death of a That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so that little telescope right now is really good. that bright star. But the picture you have. She goes, we're outside of Ama Ama here. Um, this is where he's doing it tonight. The bottom in the middle, that's a white floor. A million Earths brought down the morning. You saw the jacket blowing out of it. That white dot right there. 
Yeah, but we got five billion years. Don't need to panic. We got a lot of time. Jupiter. Yeah, most stars will go out like that. And when they, when they that out, white they star to the right Jupiter. is Saturn. Eventually, it'll bump into another cloud, and newborn baby stars will be born again. Oh, so we're not that powerful at all. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Is Jupiter still in there? <laughs> I didn't even see it because it used to be like a bright circle. Emily, we step down a quick second. Can I take a quick look? No. Oh, yeah, one down. Okay, let's go, go back again. Give me a second. Yeah. Did you bump in them? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Nice. Did you see the line? There's the death of a star that blew up. It's called the Ring Nebula. This is where our sun will go out in about five billion years. When we run out of gas, the fire turns off. When the, when the fire turns off or the, or the nuclear fusion stops, the, the sun will be crushed by the gravity. So nuclear fusion is what's causing the stars to light up, yeah? They reach a certain point. They go through the chemistry, hydrogen, helium, carbon, and so forth, up to iron, mm -hmm. and then no more nuclear fusion, and the star gets crushed. Yeah, that's called the Ring Nebula. It's way up there. It's about 2,000 light years away by Vega. Can we see it? No, uh, not with, not, unless you use a telescope, we can. But it won't be as bright as that. It'll be a little haze. It's, up, it's right between these two stars, right in the middle of uh, Lear of the Heart. Right in the middle of the end of Lear of the Heart. Yeah. Or you need a stronger one? Uh, no, we can see it in here if you want to, but it's going to be a very hazy um, donut. But this one over here brings out that color. That's why I put it on here. Right. Yeah, so you can see it a little easier. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I know that Jupiter is supposed to be like red, but uh, I thought like it's white. Okay, it's white. The, the, those little bands are very light orange, but it might be hard for you to see the orange, the thin bands. Mm, I saw the thin bands, but I didn't see okay, it. Okay, you didn't see the color. It's gray? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. The younger kids have better eyesight than, yeah. yeah. <laughs> As you get older, you lose the color like uh -huh. that. Yeah. Did you see the color? Yeah. Okay, good. It was great. I mean, huh. It's good. I know, I saw it. That's some hefty telescope he has. He also brought this one out. We'll be checking that one out in a little bit. Yeah, that was light of the stars. Oh, yeah. Wait, did you see it? Did you know that our sun is our star? So we're right next to our star. That's why the sun looks so big. And these other stars, they don't have their own planet as well. Just like our star has a planet. Pretty neat. It's a big house. Beautiful night to be stargazing out by the ocean. They have a that could be outside the solar system is going to Mars and that kind of thing. This is a very nice uh, like app controlled telescope yeah, though. Eventually they run out of fuel to burn and then the fire comes up. It gets too much. How long are we going with that? When did you get here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another question. How? Yeah. How long has our sun, our sun been here? Ah, very good. So our sun's been burning for just under five billion years. Okay, so we're about halfway. We're halfway there. Yeah. It's like four point seven or so. Yeah. Every billion for a star is like ten for us. So if our sun's been burning for five billion, our sun is a fifty-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everybody see this Jupiter? Yep. You yep. saw it? Okay, yep. so we're going to go to the moon now. In Hawaiian, the moon is Mahina. Mahina, Mahina. is the name of the moon. They said the moon right in Hawaii. Almost, I think that's a point. Seven million years. So we're just, no, we're a billion. So we're like in the halfway point. Now, uh, I guess for the adults, if you have a cell phone, after you take a view, if you turn off your flash, you can take an amazing photo. But once you take the photo, you can zoom into the surface. Yeah, I'm out of it. I will help you take that photo because it takes three hands. I'll be the balancer. You'll take the photo. Really nice. Take a look at that. Look at that. If you ever thought the moon was made of Swiss whoa, whoa, whoa. cheese, you might Long be right. Back. 
Did you see Did those you see craters? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's amazing! Did you see all those craters, yeah? Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I oh, okay. yeah, I forgot the order. I was over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys, you're all gonna see. You're all gonna see. Right ahead, right ahead. Did you just see it? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really phenomenal. You can't miss this. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm, I'm liking the light of the universe. Can I see the sea of so wow. I moved that telescope over the ocean before it was pointing over here, uh -huh. and now it's on a nebulous cloud, which is the nursery. So in the nursery, that gas in here is what's like forming stars. That's oh, the wow. fuel, that's the gas, that's the hydrogen. And as it spins, it breaks into pieces, it keeps them into a tight like cotton candy, and it gets so hot, the stars light up, and there's a bunch of baby stars right there. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, you'll get all these photos up here. This is a nebula. It's a nursery. It's a nebula. It's a nebula. This particular one is called the Lagoon Nebula. Lagoon Nebula. So there's more than one. Are you looking at the moon? Yeah, well, it's the hottest swirling around. Does it move? Yes, it's been bumped, so it's moving and swirling around. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Our moon. So this is the Lagoon Nebula. This is a nursery where stars are being born. So this cloud of gas is right over the ocean out there, just to the left of the moon. And this cloud is actually swirling around as it breaks into pieces. Each piece gets really hot. Eventually that's what lights up. Nuclear fusion occurs. And here's a bunch of baby stars right here that are moving out of the cloud. This, this cloud will produce hundreds of stars over millions of years. Yeah, this one's called the Lagoon Nebula. It's about 5,000 light years away. Yeah. That's a nursery. Yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, really wild. Are those like the pictures like the Hubble Chimpa? Oh yeah, similar, similar. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, they, that's Hubble's better, but yeah, I mean, this oh, yeah. is the little guy right here. Yeah, and these clouds are all over the galaxy. Stars are being born all the time. Stars die out all the time. Yeah, yeah that was the nursery, the nebula. Wow. Yeah. Way out there in space. See up that color. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's the hydrogen gas. That's the moon. Would you like? Are we seeing that real time, or is that like? Yeah. Uh, no, it's real. I moved it over there. It's over the ocean. <laughs> yeah. But is uh, it like a million years, like behind? Oh, I see. This is five thousand years ago. Five thousand. Okay. Because that's how it's located. Five thousand yeah. light years away. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. It'll be out there for millions of years. That's what I was asking. Yeah. yeah. So we were looking at the moon. Yeah. I thought you were just looking at the moon. Yeah. Is there anybody <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whoa. The stars take years to get here. This is 17 light years away. This one's 26. So if that's your age, you're looking at your birth light. Because that's the light that took that many years to get here. Is there any 11 years? In the winter there is. Serious, the brightest star in the night sky is 11 light years away. They're out there. Oh, that was the red one. That was the, the Antares. Oh, yeah. That was Antares out there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Very good. Yeah, Antares is 8 billion years, which is 80 in human age. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, sure. I want to get a picture of this. Exactly. All right, let's do it. That's Yeah, I'll hold the phone. you're going to tap the tap the bright part of the moon. Yes. Wait, wait. Okay, now. 
You can take it like this. Can I take a picture? Yeah, All right. I want to take a picture. Yeah. Now, zoom into those craters. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Hold on. Tap the right part of the moon. Tap the moon itself. Can't ask wait. Wow. Hold on. Oh, sound. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's your turn. You can come up and he'll uh, hold the phone and you can take a picture through the telescope of our moon. And you should be able to zoom in and see the uh, craters. I'll try to insert it if I can. Yeah, yeah, that was really nice. Hey? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody? Yeah. Wait, where are the drills? Where are the drills? Perfect. That was nice. Yeah. You want to take one? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's really nice. But we leave the money. Okay. Tap the bright part of the moon. Okay, wait. No, that is a great shot. Yeah. That was the best shot all night. That was a really good one. That was really, really nice. Hey, it was really quick. Did you see where the moon landing was? Oh, you? well, when the moon is full yeah. and the moon is rising, it's at 4 o'clock. Oh, that little dark patch at 4 o'clock is the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, all right, wow. so here we go. Let's go to a, a bunch of baby stars. So you guys remember the nebula, the gaseous cloud? Well, that cloud will produce hundreds of stars. So here's a nice group of baby stars like puppies and kittens. They're all born out of the cloud. Now, I actually gave this one my own name. I call this cluster of stars, somebody knocked over the salt station. Oh. So when you come up, make a cup, make a cup like this and look inside. Oh, you guys want to try first? Try, try first, yeah. So you're really going to like this one. There's way too many of these I love baby stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. How much can you count up to so far? Can you count to 100? Yeah, it looks just like 100 stars in there. It's really amazing. Oh, okay. Like, it's of the truck. Don't forget, when you guys throw the spoon, you tell your teeth, you get extra credit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. And if they give you a hard time, they break that, I get extra credit. So how do they grow? Um, the gas. The nebula is what lights them up. Mm -hmm. And so they're burning Hold on, guys, I gotta put you down for a minute. they get older, they swell out a bit. And then when the fire goes off, that's the end of their life. But they'll live for billions of years. Yeah, just like people. That's what I always say. <laughs> As you get older, you swell out. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been oh, wow. doing this? Uh, I've been doing it in the resort here for 15 years. Wow. Yeah, for all the but I was in this since I was a year age. Yeah. Oh, it's so very small. Sure. I'm going to go. Oh, so I don't know how to get it. Yeah. I didn't have to. Sam? When did you buy your first telescope? Or uh, Sam? Where's Sam? Well, my parents bought me when I was like a uh, high school. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh my god. You're going to ruin really need the cup, Emily. Okay. I'll do it. 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 I'm going to put the telescope, the little one, on another group of 100,000 stars. You'll see it in here as well. It's all white. One eye. Remember one eye. And they're both uh, GPS. This is why it goes right to the opposite. It's really amazing. The technology is unreal. Yeah, the sun. Can you count them all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you count them all? This guy over here, I like this guy better because he gets to see so much so far. Yeah, yeah. Um, 19 
Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What is this one? 65. Probably weighs the same as you. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. yeah. It's a $6,500 telescope. That's a $1,900 telescope. Oh, wow. So this is a group of 100,000 stars near the center of the galaxy. Now, these are very old stars. They're not newborns. But it looks very similar, yeah? Mm -hmm. But these stars, a hundred thousand of them are locked in on each other like a swarm of bees. And they're going around the galaxy, kind of like the moon going around the Earth. There's about 300 of these guys. The baby stars, they're actually moving out. They're young ones. If we look at the chemicals in here, these are heavy elements, so we know they're old. These babies are pure hydrogen. They're, they're just born. They're new ones, yeah? Nuclear fusion was creating the elements. Yeah, this is just a phenomenal image. This is in Sagittarius, which is that uh, sideways uh, thing here. You guys see the tea kettle? This is a teapot. The teapot. That's Sagittarius. Yeah, so that image is coming right at the top of that. This is a bunch of stars. It looks similar to that. Yeah. That but cool. these are old. These are old ones. Those are babies. What's this whole cluster right here? Is it like a... Uh, it's called Sagittarius star. Oh. Yeah. Far too. Yeah. Oh, really? Check that one out. That's from that little telescope. That's, that's far, Isn't that insane? Far, far. That's crazy. It's unreal. Yeah. Did everybody see the babies? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now they're going to go off on their own because the nebula was swirling around. It breaks into pieces. Each piece becomes a star. So the stars are moving out. As they move out, they're going to go on their own like our sun. So let's look at our first young single star. We're going to go to Altair in Aquila the Eagle. So I'll trace that out as the telescope moves. Here's our star, it's right here. And there's a bird up there. And you see his wings on the side? And the backbone. This is a keel of the eagle. Actually looks like a stingray. Yeah? That's a keel of the eagle and one of the three stars that make up the summer triangle. There's a summer triangle, yeah. Now this star is 17 light years away. That's pretty close to the sun. It looks like a diamond. If you like diamonds, you're going to love this star. Yeah. Go ahead, you want to try it? Go ahead. This star is younger than the sun, bigger than the sun, brighter than the sun, and it's oh, three times hotter than the sun. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's just a little bit. so far away that we can't. Yeah. 17 light years. Yeah. That's a young star? That's a young one. That's yeah, younger than the sun. Yeah. So you may not have known it, but stars have color. What color is our sun? Yellow. Yeah. Yellow, yeah. If you strike a match or the flame on an oven, it's blue white at the tip. That's the hottest That's part of the flame. That's like this guy. So they go blue, white, yellow, orange, and red. So as they get older, they're cooling down so the color changes. Yeah. So that camera keeps taking pictures. Look how packed it is now. I don't know if you noticed. It got, it, there's more in here now than before. Right. Yeah, it's unreal. Yeah, I was disappointed in the last show at that nebula I took. A shooting star went through. It was really nice. It was a streak. Oh, wow. I was like, wow. And I didn't I didn't save it. And oh. the image just oh. kept taking it and it wiped it out after a while. But I showed everybody. They all saw the streak. But at the end it was very, very faint. I was like, oh man, next time I gotta remember to download that photo right away. Yeah, because it, it takes old pictures over and over and over. Yeah. Really insane. How often do you get like a like something moving come through like a comet or uh, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's amazing how that happens uh, you just never know when you just never know we see shooting stars at least once a week if you're looking in the right direction yeah. but they happen every night you just yeah. people just don't see it because you got to be looking up at the right time. oh yeah you got to be yeah yeah okay, let me look at intently first. looking at that so. yeah yeah exactly Yeah, one time I was taking photos of Orion the Hunter, and I was working at a table, and I had the camera doing its own thing. And then like a week later, when I looked at it, there was a shooting star cutting through the belt. And I Ooh. never knew for a whole week, because I didn't look at the photo until later. Oh, wow. It's just unreal.
It is, huh? Yeah, that's a nice star. Cool. Has anyone seen Cassiopeia, the queen of Ethiopia? Mm -hmm. That's the zigzag. You guys see the yeah. zigzag? Oh, yeah. yeah. In Hawaii, this is a bird, Evie Kalini, which flies over the North Star. The North Star is very low. Yeah? So that guides the Polynesians back to Hawaii. They follow the bird flying over the North Star. Yeah. Did I show you guys Pegasus the flying horse? No. Okay. Hmm? Okay, you guys saw the Summer Triangle, yeah? The triangle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So okay, now watch this. We're going to see the great square. You see the big square? One, oh, two, yeah. three, four. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a little very faint hook of stars. You see the hook on? Huh? The head, wow. the neck, the square is the body, here's the wings, the Pegasus, the flying horse. There's some stars over here, that's the wing. Yeah, that's Pegasus. So they say about one in every three stars is a bubble. There's two there, but our eye is so small. So when the stars were born, you saw how close they were, yeah? They're very close. As they move out, if they're very close and gravity locks them in, the two stars will stay together as they travel through the galaxy. So let's look at a double star system. One of the stars is yellow and the other one is blue. It's really nice. The blue is a little bit older and a little bit cooler. They came out of the same cloud. And what's really cool is if they have a planet in the right orbit, that planet could have two sunrises and two sunsets. Oh, wow. oh, wow. We're going to the star right here. It's the head of the swan. That's the head. Here's the tail. And here's the wings of Cygnus the swan. Here's his wings, the tail, and the head. We're on the head of the swan. This is a double star system called Alberio. A little over 300 light years away. This is really nice. Did anybody see the movie Frozen? Yeah. You saw Frozen? Yes. What was yeah. the name of the snowman? Oh, oh, no. This looks like Ola's cousin. There's two stars like a snowman. <laughs> There's a little gap in there. There's a little gap, but it's nice. Check it out. Did you see yellow and blue? Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Like Olaf's cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Check out that moonlight over the ocean. Isn't that nice? That's really beautiful. You know, the name of the moon is Mahina. You know where Mahina got her name from? Because the moon is female. Mahina was a famous canoe paddler. She was so famous, she could never get any privacy. So one day, she decided she liked looking at the moon. She decided to go there. So she paddled to the moon, and now she lives on the moon. She's made her home. How did she get to the moon? A lot of kids think she took a rock. <laughs> they say she took a rocket. No, when the moon is low, she, you, you can actually paddle to the yeah, 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 like she did. And that's what she did. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Nice. In Hawaii, star is Hoku, H-O-K-U. No matter where you live, as the stars rise in the east, set in the west, there's always stars that go right over your head. And some go across at an angle. The star that goes over Hawaii in the west is called Arcturus. You jump off the handle of the Big Dipper, you follow the curve to Arcturus. It's a bright orange star. But that goes right over Hawaii. Whoever goes, go ahead. Where is the double star? Yeah. That goes right over Hawaii. So we call it Hoku Leia. Hoku Leia. Star of Gladys because we're glad to be that thing. Yeah. So what am I looking at? I forgot. Double the, star. The two bright ones. Okay. One yeah. is a little bit lower than the other. Yes, the smaller one's bluer. Yes. Very good. Oh, so good eyes. Just the blue one. Yeah, you got a good eye. Very good. 
<laughs> when you guys go home and that sky shift, the North Star will go higher. You'll see, if you find our curve, you'll see it in an angle. Now you know what the curve is when you see it. Oh, that star's going over the whole island. Okay. Yeah, pretty nice. Oh, very cool. Oh, it does. Blue. Alright, everybody good? Alright, let's go to a nice orange star. Very old star. So we're going to go up to the Great Square. We're gonna go to the great field. We're gonna see an orange looking star older than the sun. So we got to see all the different colors, a blue white, a yellow, an orange. We saw baby stars in the screen. It's still taking pictures of the very old old stars. Pretty wild, yeah? And then the star collapses, and that's how you saw that little donut. You'll get all those photos, the donut that stars blew up. So after that, we gotta come back home. I cannot leave you on another star system. So uh, Disney will get very upset at me. So I gotta bring you guys back to the Earth. And we're gonna look at Saturn's rings again one more time. And we'll have our finale on the moon. All right, so let's look at this orange star. Check it out. Hopefully you see orange. You want to come try? Yeah. Maybe. I have to hold on to this. Look straight in. Try to see if you see orange. Deeper yellow orange stuff. Older than the sun. You just see bright? Right. I just have okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine too. <laughs> Okay. Orange. Yeah. 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 Nice. 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 Hmm, very cool. Look at the orange, it's like an amber color. Oh, good, good. Oh, check this guy out. See how he's blue? That's another star that blew out. It's out there, way out there. So it's very, very hot. They're all different images. The other one was a nice circle. This one's like a, a ball. Yeah. Okay, we're on it. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is quite obvious. This is an example of another star that blew out. You can see it's bigger, yeah? It's just hot gas. Yeah. Boom, blown out of the sky. Yeah, that's what these atoms have to do. Look at that. Yeah. 
So this is another start at Blue Out. Boom. Got a little bit of a ring up the outside. It's called the Saturn Nebula. So that's one start that exploded like the other one over the circle. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like looking at it from a different angle. Is that yeah. a dark blue and blue? Uh, well, mostly blue because it's very hot. But they have a lot of chemicals. So hydrogen, helium, carbon, they're all different colors in a way. So you could have a mix of like blue, green, and purple. Yeah, you could have all kinds. Yeah, isn't that pretty wild? Yeah. You guys have an uh, iPhone? Yeah. Okay, good, good. I'm gonna airdrop these later. Yeah, it's really nice, yeah? So it's, a, it's a called the Saturn Nebula because it's got a little bit of a spike on the sides. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a single star that blew out. Did you guys see that one? Did everybody see this one? Yes. All right, so here we go. Oh, where's our Saturn presser? Oh, there she is. Okay, you got pressed this button up here. It says M2 right in the middle. Push hard. Oh, good job. All right, you can do the show tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And um, you want to take us to the moon later? You press the button, take us to the moon. This is definitely a kid-friendly experience. So. What, what do you guys remember about Saturn? What was special about Saturn? The rings of Saturn. I'll send you an image of that also with the other picture. Yeah, that was real. Oh yeah, it's over there. We're going way over there. Look how much the sky has moved. I think it was over here before, now he's over there. Yeah, the sky is moving, we don't even know. Yeah, because the earth is turning. Oh, that is nice. That was a perfect button. Right to the center. You want to be the first? Yeah. Come, take a look, because you did a good job. Go in there and take a look at that. Really nice. Okay, so if you have iPhone, you go to Settings, General, Airdrop. Make sure it's on everyone, so you can you can pick up the photos. Make sure in your airdrop is checked on everyone. So settings, uh, general airdrop, check everyone. All right, let's get this set. If you have um, if you don't have the iPhone, I go to text it to you. So either way, we'll get it from the show. Yeah, exactly. If one of you guys in your group get share with each other. Yeah. Okay, we got the Saturn Nebula. Ooh, that's a beauty. Cluster of 100,000, the nursery, a single star that blew up, and Andromeda. That looks so cool. I get the crystal. You pressed the heart? Yeah, you did a good job. There we go. Like a wonderful picture. Hey, you should be getting six images on the way. Okay, Gypsy Jordan Michael, iPhone two. Thank you. Yes. Oh, when you save it, give it a little bit of time because there's a lot of photos. And Michael again. Did you get them? Oh. No. Did you? No. And you, and you guys already have your nice phone with the two of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chase. Oh. Yep, it's on its way. Give it some wow, time. Oh, wow, that's so cute. Oh, got it. Yeah, right on. And you're going to take us to the moon, yeah? Okay, very good, very good. Nice. It's so crazy. It's so perfect. You know, I put a shield on All that. Alright, we'll look back at Saturn. Alright, are you going to take us to the moon? Yep. No, it won't work. Alright. Everybody ready? Let's go to the moon. Here we go. 
Press that button. Oh, right. Good job. All right, right on. A little better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Try to remember to look inside those craters. There's mountain ranges. There's rebound bumps inside the crater. Wow. Way up at the top, there's a lot of craters at the top. Wow. Okay, go check. Really amazing. <laughs> All the way if you have to move. Yeah, more than better. Yeah, really amazing. You know, the light side of the moon is about 100 degrees. The dark side is negative 100 degrees. Man, what a change, yeah, from the temperature. Well, yeah, yeah, it's lit up by the sun. But yeah, it's just unbelievable. On the dark side of the moon. You know, the moon is spinning away from the Earth an inch and a half a year. When the solar system was forming from the nebula, there was a lot of collision. And it got ripped out of the Earth and it's still spinning away. Yeah, the astronauts put some mirrors up there so they shoot lasers and every, you know, they can, they can watch it fill out. Yeah, yeah really amazing. Take a picture of a nice moonlight over the ocean. That's beautiful. You don't get to see that every day either. The moon over the Alani Beach. Well, it's actually spinning. It's moving with the band. But they are going around the planet. Sometimes we see it. Saturn, I'm sorry, Jupiter has a 10 hour day. So sometimes we see it, and you can actually watch it move for about, you know, it'll go for five hours. And then it goes behind. Yeah, so it's, it's moving together with the whole thing. It's like a hurricane, I guess. Yeah. You can put a few words inside. <laughs> yeah. Hard to grasp. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's been observed since the Galileo. It's still there. 400 years. Yeah, yeah amazing. Well, Oh right, the shadow of the earth. Yeah, the sun is lighting up that from the bottom side where the sun went down. Okay, but that part Uh no, it's being warmed by the sun. So it's not right. But we can't well, cool. you can't see the sun, but we see it. No, no, I mean, the shadow of the Earth makes the moon. Here's a look at the moon, guys, and the craters. It probably didn't turn out all that good, but I am trying to shoot through a $6,000 telescope, so. It's very subtle. The whole moon is there, but it's hard to see the dark side of it. And that dark part, is that cold? Yes, it's cold. Yes. 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 So, so, so you were asking not the back part. Okay, well folks, if you uh, if you would like a nice moonlight shot, I could take a picture with the moonlight. Whoever wants it, I'll throw it in the air. Do you guys want it or you guys want to take yes. off? Yes. It's up Thank to you guys. Sorry, you can take off. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Mahalo, everybody. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Mahalo, everybody. Emily, I'm like Hello. Thank you for coming down. Yeah, yeah, you're all welcome. If you like the moonlight behind you, I can do that and I'll airdrop it right into your phone. I do it with a lot of folks. Something nice, like a souvenir. A picture, picture. Oh, who was it? You guys. Okay. Oh, you guys in it? Yeah, how do you get it? Just stand by yourself. Yeah, for sure. Hold on. Oh. We're gonna take a picture. Hurry, hurry up, hurry, go ahead. Sure. Go ahead, hurry, quickly, go. Yeah. yeah that's the move.
Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. One, two, and three. Hold it. Don't move. Stay put. Don't move. Nice. <laughs> oh, God. You guys came out real nice. Very good. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. That's a really good picture. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Here, I'll turn on this airdrop for you. There you go. Uh, what's your, what's your, your chase? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> mahalo everybody. Thanks for coming down. I'm going to take one real quick. Yeah, sure, sure. The old folks. Look, they're going to do him first. Oh, here we go. Oh. On three. One, two, and three. Don't hold it. Hold it. Got it. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. Yeah, sure you will. Oh, okay. Okay, on three, one. Sorry, guys. I just set you down for a photo. Three, hold it. But. Don't move. Stay put. One, two, three, and got it. Very good. Then you can air drop it with Nice. Alright, All right. thank you. Uh, I don't know. Those is different. Different phone, yeah? yeah. The yeah. iPhone is both. Well, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I feel so much light. It doesn't have the same features. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Hello, folks. Yeah, 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 sure, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I, I forget your name again. Oh, Greg. Greg? Okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I just want to thank you. This was yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's unique. It's something different. It absolutely <laughs> is. I mean, I operate a small YouTube channel and okay. I hadn't seen any videos on this. Oh, you my said you've been doing it a while. Yeah. So I wanted to come out and take nice. the time. And Are you going to put it on YouTube? You? I am. Oh, that'd be awesome. Can so. you let me know when it, like, where, it, what, where it's going to be at? Uh, like, someday I can look at it? Sure. Um, um, yeah. Easy to remember. I, I can tell you what uh, stars at starsabovehawaii.com. Starsabovehawaii.com? Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, it's Stars Above Hawaii. I'll leave you a comment or shoot yeah. you a message or something. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be All so right. cool. Yeah, and then I'll share it with everybody. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, sure.